Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are here again in my lab and I want to show you a pressure measurement device which, well, this one. Uh, see, it's some sort of case. Yeah? I will open and reveal what is inside. Uh, this direction. This direction you see, wow, heavy duty. And what we see. Whoa, we have seen it, we have heard about this device before. It's a dead weight pressure measurement. So, one thing is important. Not touch it with your bare hands, because simply those things are very accurate. And, yeah, there we don't want to need the grease, sweat, moisture of our fingers on, so I'm using these gloves. I'm ready for the measurement. <laughs> okay, so what we've got here actually, yeah, here are, these are the weights, all right? So there are small weights, there are bigger weights, yeah, then there are again bigger weights, then there are even bigger weights, and then there are quite some weights there. Huh? So quite a lot of weights. And actually what we've also got here is this device. Yeah? Here, this is our coil and this is our, our some sort of, of, of husk. Yeah? And uh, here we see already a little bit oil. So also here the the things comes in handy and here would be a reservoir yeah, for our pressure fluid I will go in I'm going to fill in the pressure fluid afterwards and here this let's dismantle this let's dismantle this let's see is this the correct one ah all right so actually what we've got here is a cylinder oily uh, or it's it's actually it's silicon oil uh, so let's open this and here we've got a cylinder and a piston here is the piston with this piston we can adjust the pressure inside here. So here's the reservoir. We are sucking in the pressure liquid here and here with this piston you see it can be moved in and moved out. Yeah? So we can suck in liquid from here and apply it to here and it will also come out here. All right. So actually I will put it in again here. So let's Mount this all. Alright, that should be sufficient. And here I can now move, move this, this, I can operate the piston inside, uh, in, inside the cylinder. I will move it completely in. Here, these are the big weights. I'll take them. Oh, they're already pretty heavy. The big weight. And this here. This is this is the weight which is especially produced for this for this uh, device. That's the calibration disc. Alright? That's the calibration disc. Again, a little bit oily, so I will clean it. All right. So I'm also going to mount here my. This is the device I want to test. Yeah. So this is a pressure measurement. So this is what is this? This is uh, 10, 0 to 10 bar for the 10 milliamps pressure sensor. All right. So I'm going to mount this, and yeah, this should fit, yes it fits. 
let's mount this it's also a 27 i think yes 27 27 Should be sufficient and let's mount it here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. This should be mounted. All right. So actually, I think We'll close this here now. I think we are ready. Close this as well. I think we are ready to put in our oil. Yeah. Like I said, this is silicon oil. Yeah. I will use this is from the same manufacturer as this as this device. I am not exactly sure what it is. Yeah. It must be very you see, it's it's very bright. It's just yeah, it's silicon oil. Uh, from the price, I would say it's a mixture between diamonds and 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 gold. However, it's just silicon oil. Of course, it is expensive, yeah, because you know you need to have a really defined viscosity and so on to reach high accuracy. We need this. Okay, I pulled in, put in now here some liquid. Yeah? And actually, if I open, I will use simply some more because yeah? I don't think this is enough. Yeah? Okay, now I think it's enough. <laughs> Because I almost topped it. Okay, I will open here now this valve. And now I can suck this liquid from the reservoir into my piston. Okay, so I will now, let's see. Yes, something is happening. So I'm sucking in now liquid from here to here. Yeah. Okay, so it should be sufficient. And now. Now we'll use this one as well. So that you can clearly see. Here is the reservoir. Alright, so I sucked in here. Here this is filled now with, with, uh, this oil. Uh, so this liquid. And if I put in now pressure, we will apply pressure to this piston. This is actually another piston, yeah, where, where afterwards the weight will be placed, yeah, and we can apply this pressure, which is inside this piston, also to our pressure gauge. So I will open this valve here now. No, oh, it's open. Open this valve you now. And if I apply pressure, we should see that this piston is moving, hopefully. Yes. Now, you see, this piston is moving. Yeah? If I relieve the pressure again, this piston should come down. And now, the only thing I have to do is that I apply here pressure. And I have this sort of shell. Yeah? That's how it looks like. And I will place it here. Yeah? And the bottom, the bottom of this shelf, here you see also uh, four rings. Yeah? 
And if the bottom of this shelf is in between the two middle rings, everything's all right. Everything's all right. All right. So we now taking this weight. Yeah? So this is the reference weight. Yeah. This with this weight on and this piston inside will have exactly one pressure, one bar pressure. All right. So let's see until it is lifted. Ooh. All right. And it should always turn. You know, it should always turn that we are not influenced by friction. Now we are in between those two middle lines and now we should have exactly one bar. Huh? And depending on the weight I put on, yeah, so this for instance a 0 0.2 bar weights, if I put this on, yeah, book, you will see, okay, it's no longer lifted, so I have to apply more pressure. Whee! Here we go. And now I have 1.2 bars. Okay? And this is how you can check your, your um, sensor yeah, with a highly accurate measurement device. Yeah? That, but however, everything must fit together. This must be leveled. All right? So we have here something which will help us. The correct weight must be on. The weight, you only have to touch them with gloves so that you're not leaving any fingerprints, so, so that it's the, the level that the measurement is not disturbed too much. And we have to use a special liquid where the viscosity and everything is exactly right. That's it. Okay? That's it. This is how such dead white pressure level, pressure level, no, pressure measurement is working. All right? Now we have seen this. Huh? These are five bars, for instance. Yeah? This is one bar. Huh? With this piston, of course. Huh? It always depends on the piston. All righty. So, I think it is clearer now how such dead white pressure tester, uh, in this case it's a tester because I can calibrate the sensor now, uh, how this is working. Uh, and, well, yeah. for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.